The term patent troll is a, is a contested term. It's a pejorative. Uh, but uh, I think the, the idea is this is somebody who, like the trolls in Norse mythology, live under a bridge they didn't build. Uh, and when somebody tries to cross the bridge, pops up and says, I demand a toll. All right, so a patent troll is got a patent they didn't invent, uh, and when you actually try to build a product, they pop up and say, I want a share of your money. I, the patent system these days is high volume business. Uh, we get more than 600,000 patent applications a year. Uh, we issue more than 300,000 patents. Um, that's a real change from 100 years ago, right? Even at a time when the country was very innovative, we had a lot fewer patents. It's even a change from 30 years ago. I mean, in 1980, we had uh, uh, one-sixth that number of patent applications and patents. The problem is with 300,000 new patents every year, uh, not all or even most of those are turning into real products. Uh, and so we've got now a business model in which people go buy up patents that their inventors aren't using uh, and then shop around and see if they can find people who had independently developed something similar and they file lawsuits against those people. Uh, so one of the side effects of this kind of giant uh, assembly line business of producing patents is we have a large number of patents out there that people can go buy up uh, and use not to develop their own products but to try to tax those who are of actually in the marketplace. One of the things we've done here at Stanford is to try to sort of get beyond rhetoric in the patent troll debate and try to get to evidence. Uh, Ten years ago, we founded a company called Lex Machina, which is now spun out as a private company uh, that does data analytics that allows you to get access to information on every uh, patent lawsuit filed in the country. Uh, more recently, we've run a policy lab here at Stanford uh, that collects data on who actually files every lawsuit in the country, who are they, what's their business model, uh, and that allows us to get beyond the kind of pejorative, are you a troll or not? debate and see what's really a lot of complexity in the, in the patent litigation system. Some of these people are practicing companies. Some of them are people buying up patents in order to sue. But you've also got individual inventors who never actually got around to founding a company. You've got people who spun out of universities, uh, but their company didn't take off. Uh, you've got companies that were once in the market, but, but have been kind of bypassed. Uh, so the answer of who's a patent troll turns out to be complicated. And one of the things we've done here at Stanford is uh, working with our students in the policy lab, trying to get data that allows us to answer that question uh, and therefore to inform policy debates in Congress, in the Patent Office, uh, and so forth.